<coughs> hello facebook julie breen from intellisite opticians here sorry i've just had a bit of a cough you can imagine can't you you're just starting a, a live broadcast and you start coughing great in it so yeah i'm very i might have to actually have a slurp of very cold coffee <laughs> But it's liquid. That's, that, that is better. Hi, everybody. It's Julie Breen here from Intellisite Opticians. I know I've said that before. Intellisite Opticians. Um, doing my normal Friday Facebook Live broadcast. Um, today, I've got a couple of things, really. Um, and again, I, I always say I'm not going to keep you very long. And I think it's five minutes and it's 15. So if I think I've been talking for a minute, that'll probably be about five. And then um, I won't take up too much of your time. Today, um, I'm going to talk about what I've done at the beginning of the week because um, I do slightly unusual things and this week I went to a Macmillan um, what was it called meet and share meeting because I have um, I have in my, some of my other jobs I kind of represent the whole of the um, opticians in tees um, and um, our there's a group that works in our local hospital called um, James Cook University Hospital called the Macmillan Integration of Cancer Care Board program and um, they're working on improving cancer outcomes for all kinds of cancers um, but they have recently been focusing excuse the pun their um, their work on improving three things three kinds of cancer the lymphoma which is to do with what happens within the hospital and open access chest x-ray which has gone really well and uh, another thing which is about um, earlier diagnosis of brain cancer and um, the thing about brain cancers is that they cause fairly commonplace symptoms when they're in their early stages and it's only when in the, the often when they're in the late stages that you start to see the the very unusual symptoms you get with um, brain tumors and brain cancers and unfortunately often they are by the time they are diagnosed um, they um, then become um, it's, it's it's very late and it's very then very difficult to treat it um, and if it's discovered early then it's um, a much better outcome so um, that's where we came in because the brain tumors have very specific um, visual field defects and that's um, to do with a kind of instrument that we use in, in practice called a visual field screener every optician has a visual field screener in the UK and it's a means of finding kind of hard signs um, to um, diagnose these things. Uh, so anyway, um, referral is, uh, if you go through the GP, is about a 4% um, kind of, you know, doctors refer and say, I think this person has this, and 4% of those turn out to be brain tumours. Um, in actual fact, if you um, looked at our um results even though the numbers were quite small and um, those results were 16% um, so four times better than the national average which is your, your kind of your, your two-week rule so a really good success um, more to come um, but we were kind of sharing that that working with the rest of the group there and it was all sort of people from the hospital so it was a really interesting day of sharing our learnings from our um, uh, a project I suppose you'd call it referring into the hospital very quickly um, and our learnings the learnings from all the other kind of projects as well so that was really interesting and something I don't normally get to do so uh, it was very interesting so that was me me out, out and about not in practice okay so um, in practice uh, today I was, I was going to talk about frames uh, some that kind of suggests what we're going to do she was saying we we're going to talk about frames and there's different frame shapes and I don't subscribe to any of that I reckon that if it's orange it suits <laughs> so I'm not really good at uh, kind of advising people about the kind of science behind it and to be honest if it suits it suits and often people can wear frames that you wouldn't expect them if you uh, to suit them and they do so yeah science isn't it's it isn't really science it's kind of you know generally this suit this some people and a lot of people don't so anyway so what I thought I'd do is I'd show you a few of the frames the more different frames that we have here and kind of some very very definite do's and don'ts because there are some very definite ones and I've just I made some of my staff sit earlier and uh, put some frames on they weren't very happy about it so I shall just show you the result oh I'm putting the wrong number in right okay so this is 
um, somebody with a kind of round face with glasses that are too, too small. And Toby wasn't very happy about it either. You can tell by the look on his face. Those, those are too small. Round frames, round face. Mm -mm, no, not very good at all. However, he does have a pair of glasses that he wears all the time. Looking significantly more windswept and interesting there. Those are the glasses that really suit him because they don't accentuate the fact that his, his face is round. They actually kind of um, change the shape of his face by the, the way that the frames work. So that's a really good fit on him. Now the other person that I made wear some glasses that don't suit him is Sean. Now Sean has a very long face and those frames kind of taper in towards the bottom and they make his face look longer than it really is. Um, and that's not a very good suit either. So next one. Much better. Same manufacturer. Uh, so these are Ted Baker frames but they're much squarer and a much better fit and look on his face. So just by changing, I'll just scroll back through them again if I can get hold of this properly. Oops, there we go. Scroll, scroll back through the photographs. So yeah, <laughs> Toby clearly didn't like that, but too small and, and kind of feeding into the, the face shape rather than um, complementing it. That's a much better look. Sean with his slightly longer face with a frame that actually makes his face look longer again feeding into the shape which isn't terribly helpful and something that actually kind of cuts through that length and is much better so there's a general rules the other kind of um, rules around colour I don't subscribe to any of that as I say because if it's orange I think it suits oh it sounds growing me a bit oh yes <laughs> I have a website um, I haven't got all the frames that we have on um, in the shop because we would just be here forever. There'd be thousands of them. But the more interesting ones are on the website. Um, and I'll show you some for instances here because there's interesting shapes and interesting materials. Now this is a gents frame and it has a wooden side. And this is made of birch and it's treated like... Um, a boat you know how they they put all those lacquers on a boat so then it's not going to go funny but it just means that you've got something it's, and it's a nice natural material to have against your skin as well on the sides there so that's a that's a davidoff frame with a wood side i just love the natural kind of look of it and the, and the natural feel um and it's uh and it's, and it's wood that's treated re really well so it's not going to deteriorate either so that's a nice wood material and then another gents one this is a Hackett frame, so it's got like a like a kind of traditional maybe preppy look, but the side is made of titanium, so that makes the frame really really light, and you don't have one of those kind of plastic sleeves either, because um, some people find if you have like a metal behind your ear, they they can sometimes react to it, but these are hypoallergenic, so you can actually have that sleek look all the way back. It makes them very very light. In fact, they have to put that hockey bit at the end where they've actually got the the Hackett symbol um, to give it a bit more weight because otherwise the front's too heavy so they need to weight it out with a little bit more weight at the back of the, the side there but that actually makes for a very light frame and a very nice neat look as well. Very made in Chelsea. Oh made in Chelsea! <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> I wish I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay now then this frame is, these, these, this range is called La Marta, apparently it's Italian for crazy lady. Um, and funnily enough, there's some crazy stuff that goes on with these frames. This is buttons on the side of this frame, quite, quite interesting. These are on the website as well. This range has got some really interesting um, looks to it. Um, there's also these, this, is, this material is called acetate and the acetate is extremely good quality and amazing colours. So I love this, this range. My last glasses were La Marta's. And then I found some orange ones. <laughs> and this last one is the same range as the ones I'm wearing, but these are very, very cat's eye. Now, cat's eye suit some people, they don't suit others, they definitely so don't suit me. I'm going to put them on and show you how much they don't suit me. But if it suits you, they're amazing. Right, there we go. So, not really me. Sam's going, nah. <laughs> not really me. But this, this accentuated like shape. <laughs> get the orange frames back on definitely so that's a really like cat's eyesy shape and um 
it's funny those that suit them they put them on and they just look absolutely amazing so yeah different frame shapes that are around i've also i'm very excited i've just ordered some what are their names kendall and kylie kendall and kylie frames extremely exclusive i can't tell you how to i think the nearest stockist is about like 50 miles away um and they're going to go into Selfridges and they, I think they're already in Selfridges in Manchester. Um, but they are amazing. They, the sunglasses were so nice. I clapped like a seal when they opened the box. I went, um, so I guess I couldn't resist it. So those are coming. And so when they come, we'll definitely be showing you those. Um, and just as just to finish, I'm just going to talk again about our um, New Year Savings Club. Um, and that's a lovely orange pig on there. But this is about wanting to get some, if, if somebody wants to get some really, really nice frames, but the, the kind of, the way you traditionally buy spectacles is like a lump sum, and it's sometimes it can be quite a big lump sum, particularly if you are putting um, more complicated lenses in them, like um, if you need thick, thinner lenses, or if you need things like varifocals, plus thinner, plus this and this and this, it can, it can add up quite a bit. So what we do is this savings club, I know I call it the New Year Savings Club, it could be any time of year savings club really it's incremental savings so you save a little bit every week and at the end you can have a nice little lump sum of money to spend on glasses or contact lenses if you want and um, so that's um the new year savings club so hopefully i haven't taken up too much of your time today and um you probably don't know anything more about how, what frames fit and what, what frames suit and what frames don't. Well, at least you know what really, really doesn't suit. And um, hopefully I will be with you um, next week. Now, if you if you like these, uh, these little broadcasts that I'm doing, if you could like and share it, that would be really good because it would be nice to have more people listening to it and um, yeah, get, get me get these things out to a wider audience. So um, if you want to visit our website, it's www.intellisightopticians.co.uk. Um, hopefully I'll be here same time next week talking about something else that's happening in optics. You never know what's going to happen week on week, so I can't really tell you exactly what's going to be going on. We'll just kind of pick on the day. And um, yeah, visit the shop, see all the different glasses that are there, New Year Savings Club. Um, and other than that, like and share us. That would be marvellous. Uh, so yeah. Hopefully I'll be speaking to you next week. It's Julie Breen again at Intellisight Optician saying bye everybody. Bye.